commercial opportunities and challenges in Rio. So as you can see, Rio is a sprawling mega city with a uh, high density population in formal settlements, but also informal settlement, settlements known as favelas. Uh, it's in Brazil, in South America, at NEE, and it's a coastal city on the southeast coast of Brazil. Official population is 6.5 million, but because of all those informal settlements, favelas, uh, it's generally uh, said to be around 12.5 million. There are lots of social challenges and also social opportunities. Uh, one social challenge, 55% uh, of people have access to a family health centre, which means that 45% of people do not. Particularly maternal and neonatal care is really poor in Rio. A social opportunity, Santa Marta Favela, uh, the painting favelas project to make the favelas look more appealing and give a better sense of community, uh, allowed by pacification by the UPPs or pacifying police units. Healthcare also generally uh, improved in Santa Marta with healthcare visitors visiting families in their homes to vaccinate against 11 infectious diseases. Social challenges, so 50% of Rio's population, young population, leave school after doing school between the age of six to 14, so we're a basic uh, secondary education. High crime rates, uh, particularly related to organized crime, uh, drugs, the Red Command, the most famous and notorious uh, gang in Rio. Social opportunities, so education, projects like Project Favela, sending international teachers to the favelas, also free school uniform provided uh, by local Government transport infrastructure also uh, much better uh, in Rio, helping that traffic congestion problem. Another social challenge, so only 12% uh, or 12% of people don't have access to a clean uh, water supply. Another social opportunity, 300 kilometres of uh, sanitation water and sewerage piping has been uh, introduced to improve that access to safe water. Also seven water treatment uh, plants have been uh, installed to improve access to safe water. Again, another social challenge, uh, access to electricity. So uh, poor access to legal electricity. Uh, lots of people in the favelas dangerously tapping into the electricity supply illegally, but Rio's government is doing a bit more to make that electricity supply more reliable and accessible for the inhabitants of the favelas.